What a gorgeous day here on the 40. Oh my gracious. Whoo! Brant and the Builders, or Brant and Dude. That's his, that's his help's name, Dude. If you listen to the podcast, we kind of got into that. So he's always been called Dude. So that's what he goes by. And it's just him and Brant. So instead of saying Brant and the Builders, I may say Brant and Dude now just i mean this is a beautiful day now what's been happening here is you know same thing that has been happening in the past and that is that there's just a gentle breeze this morning but come 10 o'clock it's like hurricane force winds decide to show up it's been crazy but brant and the builders or brant and dude uh have been here and the trim guys who are installing trim have been here i gotta feed these guys first and then we're gonna go over there and uh take a look and show y'all because there's been some major changes on the houses on the barnuminiums and brooks mom's house or the mother-in-law suite and the the garage area so it's this really looking different big time hey nugget guess what Old Carl over there at I'm a Survivor's Donkey Sanctuary. He is a daddy. He is. They are hatching out. He is hatching out little ostrich babies left and right. You believe that? All right, I tell him you're bringing the cigars. I will. I will tell Carl that you're bringing the cigars on over. You know, they say you can run up 30 miles an hour. I don't know how long it takes you to get to Texas, but... Maybe not too long. All right, we gotta get Crazy Joe and Top and Big Moo Man fed this morning. Y'all, they have really been doing a number on the grass. I cannot tell y'all how happy I am about all that. And I know they're happy. And I can start to see which we still haven't come. We're gonna bring that, we're gonna spread this all out over here. Uh, we did clean up the hay area uh, this week where the, where the round bell's been sitting. Then we're just gonna run our harrow or harrow through here and get all that cleaned up. God, we just hadn't had, it's been a crazy week for us. That's all right, we like crazy. Ain't that right, Nugget? We like crazy. That's why we got Crazy Joe around here. Crazy Joe, we coming. Come on, big moo. Let's go, buddy. Look at that grass, y'all. I mean, they put it down. All right, all right, here we go. Come on, Crazy Joe. Come on, Crazy Joe. y'all ready for this plus I'm gonna show y'all a huge mistake I made huge mistake I made if you listen to the podcast and you know I'm fixing to tell you but you haven't actually seen it but I want to show y'all trim guys have been here Brant and the builders been knocking it out Mrs. Cock Hill has been knocking it out It might knock me out. It might knock you out. It might. I see your staining is coming on. It's coming on. And three, uh three sides of the one by fours. Yeah, we're pre-staining. For the porches. Pre-staining for the porches, which are gonna go over here. Brant suggested it'd be a lot easier for us to stain these boards on the ground versus up in the air. Like she did this. The breezeway is in. Look at the breezeway. Isn't it gorgeous? It's beautiful. That's a beautiful, that's the prettiest breezeway I've ever seen. It's lacking a roof, but it's coming. But he didn't put the roof on it because he wanted you to stain it. Right. So we'll start over here first. First of all, y'all look, the house is completely in the dry. The metal is all the way up. The 
doors are stained and finished. Look how good it looks now. Isn't it beautiful? It is just daggum beautiful. And then, of course, the porches are gonna come on out to the concrete right here. And we're walking on around here. Look here, we are in the dry. Except this wee little spot right there. Look at that though, we are, we're in though. Look how good it looks. Doors are stained. It is looking just fabulous. Fabulous. Mmm. Isn't that beauty pretty? It looks really, really good, Brooke. It looks so awesome. So awesome. Can't believe it's completely in the dry. I do want to show y'all. Plumber's been here. He's starting to bring his stuff on in. Uh, we got our lights ordered. Um, I did this the other day. I got all our lights ordered. I'm going to show y'all. Like This is for the kitchen going over the sink. I think that'll look good. And just continuing on with the farmhouse barn theme is what I'm going for. This one goes over Mary Carl's. So it looks like this one except it's three. That goes over Mary Carl's. That's her vanity. I did singles just like this, but I did singles to go above the master bathroom, mine and Brooks. We have two separate mirrors and we'll put a single above each one of those. I don't think I can get it out, but here's our, our chandelier. We got a six. I may can get it out. Let's see if I get it out and show you guys the chandelier. But that's the chandelier that's gonna hang up there again it's a candle arbor style looks like an old farmhouse so that's going to go in here all right so here's my big mistake so i was putting the hardware on and of course this door is is mounts here and then it mounts down here and you got to drill a hole for this bottom hole i mean for this bottom mount all the way through the door well when i was measuring it i had the door up here in the dead boat hole and was not paying attention. I even had Brooke standing behind me eyeballing it to make sure I put it in the right spot. And she didn't catch it that I had it in the wrong hole. Marked it and drilled right there. Straight through the door. Straight through the door. Made me sick, y'all. Made me sick. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. Right there just made me sick now we do have a plan for it right here this is what we're going to fix it with these little plugs uh, i got to drill the hole just a little bit bigger and then i'll put some wood glue on it and then i will get that in there and it'll look something uh, like that right there so if it'd be flush and then we'll stain it the color of the door and i don't think you really gonna notice it. I, I don't think if somebody didn't know what happened, they wouldn't even notice it at all. They would just think the door was like that, I guess. But Oh, you talk about one sick fella. Oh, I was sick. I'm not gonna lie. Really, really upset me that I made that mistake. But hey, things happen, I guess. And I can't change it now. All I can do is try to fix it. House is completely in the dry now. We're good to go. Plumber's coming, he's got his stuff here. I think we got all the lights ordered. Uh, Brooke has ordered all the interior door handles. Now let's go show you my mother-in-law's house, Brooke's mom's house. And show y'all the trim work. The trim guys came. How long did it take them, two days? Two days, two days. got all the trim in and you can see. And, I, and got all the doors in. You can see we got the doors in. But here we are. Again, still going with that farmhouse look. We did just one bias for everything. You can see right here we got one by sixes for the baseboard. We got one by fours for the sides. And then we got a one by six at the top right here. Yeah, and this is kind of a farmhouse theme molding, which we love. We love this look. And, but coming right here, 
Look at the windows. Aren't the windows gorgeous? Just gorgeous. Got these all trimmed out. Boy, what a difference it all makes with the trim. Also, the crown molding is in. Got all the crown molding in. All the doors are in. It's all trimmed out, looking fabulous. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I love this look. And this is what we're gonna do to our house as well. This same country farmhouse look. This is awesome. So next up, next up, these guys are gonna start painting in here, getting all this painted. And yeah, this is gonna be, this is moving on here now. This is moving on. Once we get it painted, uh, I'm assuming the cabinet guy come in, put his cabinets in, and we will be rolling. This is the last of the one by fours? Yes. How many have you painted? I don't know, a lot. But I'm doing the edges first. Yeah. And then I spread them out and do the face side. Right. Which is all you'll see on these. Right. Because this will be what the metal attaches to. That's right. Because we have exposed porches underneath. We just thought it looked great, but you might be wishing we didn't have exposed um, porches. <laughs> and it may be, I'm gonna talk to Brant tomorrow. Okay. The one by fours are what is going to touch the metal that has the biggest risk of getting paint on it. Right. So it may be that I get him to go ahead and frame it all up and then I come back and stain it up. <laughs> All right, y'all, look at here, look at here, look at here. We got more Sunnies producing. Yes, we do. Me and Mary Carl, we make them in here and pick these jokers and take them on over to Petals today. This will be our third round. Look at that plum one, isn't it beautiful? That is a beautiful sunflower. I've been waiting on this one to come on out, and it has. Beautiful. Y'all look inside the farm bike this morning. Look at him. Boy, I got a lot of hoss seeds in here. We're gonna plan a good bit today. And boy, did the cog squad come out and help me out in my last video. As you guys remember, I talked about how the car tables we were getting were fairly inexpensive versus building your own because the price of wood is just so darn crazy right now. And we're buying these car tables for like $29.95. And then we went back to go get a couple of more and had shot up to over 50 bucks. I was like, wow. So I asked you guys, is there a idea or something y'all know about? And boom, y'all came out for me, I'm telling you. And the number one most requested or most advice that you guys or tips and whatever you want to call it was to get center blocks, which we got plenty of, as you guys know, and a pallet, and make a table. And I'm like, duh, why didn't I think of that? But, but that's because the Cog Squad is smarter than me. And I thank you guys so, so much, because that's what we're gonna do. I got a pallet here, and I need to go get some center blocks. I got one extra car table, as I showed you in the last video. Uh, besides that, look at our stuff. Isn't it looking good this morning? And I got these ready to be planted, so we're gonna plant four flats there. But what's cool about that pallet is that sucker will come on out to here probably, and I can double these is what I'm hoping. Instead of getting like a just normal car table, I could get basically six or seven on. Maybe I could get 14 on. Well, maybe not 14, because it's not quite this wide. But anyways, maybe I can double it up. We'll find that out here in just a minute. Today, we're gonna start some uh, giant zinnias. These are the Benaries. I think that's how you say it. Y'all know me, that's, that's how Jason says it. Um, these are the giant zinnias, which we love. Uh, we're doing coral, we're doing lime. These are super cool, y'all. We're doing pink and we're doing wine. I love the pastel pinks, purples. I love that color palette. Um, don't get me wrong, reds and orange and yellows have their place, absolutely. 
But me personally, I love that color scheme. Got us a table. And look, that thing's gonna hold, I bet it's gonna hold eight trays. We might be swapping all these out. Might be swapping all these out. And it's sturdy too, y'all, that thing's sturdy. And the water can drain down below it. I think that's gonna work out. Thank you guys so much for this suggestion. I think we fix and fix some flowers. Look at there, got a mess of sunnies. Gosh, I love cutting these things. They're just so daggum gorgeous. My feather friends, what is going on, Cotton? I feel us still are headed this way. Here comes some more. Yep. How about you, Tommy? How about you, Tommy? What's up, redneck? Y'all come on, get some. I know everybody wants a little treat. There's Miss Bandit right there. Corny. Redneck and fancy. Oh, Miss Goat. What you picking out of there, Goat? There's something you after. I know I said before, but it's crazy how, see now, Redneck's eating the whole corn. I don't see this little chicken here. It's getting a mile or a millet out of it. It looks like um, squash is getting cracked corn. They all have their own little favorites. That's just amazing. Man. Goat's going after the mealworms I added to it. That's the first thing she goes after. I don't know what Phyllis Diller likes. Here's Miss Pumpkin. What's up, Pumpkin? Tommy, what you? Tommy's eating whole corn. Here you go, Scott. There you go, buddy. Oh, Scotty, too hotty. Miss Cleo. Here you go. All my feather friends. Felix. There's little Bobby. What's up, Bobby? Hey, Scott, won't you throw that tail up one time for us right now? Let us see it. Come on, throw it up. I'm telling you, if I had a tail like that, I'd never put it down. I ain't gonna lie. Go on, do it to it, Scott. He's being bashful. Hey, Lydia. Oh, no, there's Q-Tip. I was gonna say, where's Q-Tip? There she is, way over yonder. Here comes Miss Dolly. What's up, Dolly? What are you doing, Dolly? Hey, Dolly Parton. I see. Cheryl way over yonder, and I see Tina Turner way over yonder, so that's pretty much the clan right there. 
This thing right here is like a big old teddy bear. Ain't you, Lydia? Yeah, big old teddy bear, Lydia. Yep. She's a dark Brahma, which are a very docile breed and one of the biggest chicken breeds there are. The males get huge. I see my little buddy Emma Jean over there. And I hear the man in black. He's right there and there's the other man in black. That's the man in black. This here is a uh, Capri, and from the looks of things, here and there, we are nearly 100% that we're gonna have goat babies from her. Bo Peep, we don't think he is still. We think Bootsy is. Her bag is starting to put on, and Fifi's bag is starting to put on, and both of them look like they're carrying a little bit of extra weight. We don't have much longer, somewhere around eight more days-ish, give or take, and we'll know. There's Uncle Tip. Be nice, Uncle Tip. There's a place that I call home Where the oak trees grow Where the moonlight glows but I wish that I was somewhere else Where the sound of city lights Keeps me company at night She's got a sweet personality Smiling from inside the window screen and she's opening the door to me I'm just a stranger but I'll take it I'm alone and feeling shameless Maybe we can go When our work gets slow We can take a ride To the other side of town Life gets so complicated The pictures that you